Okay, the next type of problem that we looked at was example 15.18, and um, what we're asked in this problem is to figure out which one of these ions, when I add some iodine to it, will precipitate first. So the first thing you need to recognize is that this is different than the problems we were doing because we are going to be able to have different amounts of the anion and the cation. Um, because we're adding I gradually and we have Cu already in there. The other problems we were doing would be like if we had Cu and we put it in a beaker and it broke apart into Cu and I. So those are a different type of problem than these ones. Now we're asked, if I have these two things in the beaker and I start adding I, which one is going to precipitate first? And to figure that out, you need to remember what Ksp is. It's the solubility product. It's the multiplication, the product, of the two ions that will be able to dissolve, the amount of ions that will be able to dissolve. So when I multiply the amount that will dissolve for CuI, I get 5.3 times 10 to the negative 12th. When I multiply the amount that will be able to dissolve for PBI, I get 1.4 times 10 to the negative 8. More of it is able to dissolve here. So the one that will precipitate first is here. Because less can dissolve. Now, it asked me how much do I need. So I know the KSP and I know the amount of Cu. All I need to do is solve for the amount of I. Okay, I also know the amount of PB and all I need to do is solve for the amount of I. Okay, so we're going to find the concentration that we need um, to cause a precipitate to form. So we know KSP. Um, and that's equal to the lead times the iodine, so we have 1.4 times 10 to the negative 8th is the lead. And we want to know how much iodine, and that's equal to the, oops, sorry, this should be 2.0 times 10 to the negative 3rd, that number, and that's equal to 1.4 times 10 to the negative 8th. And when you do this and you solve for I, you're going to see that I equals 2.6 times 10 to the negative third molar. Now you have to take the square root, like you divide by this, and then you have to take the square root because the square is only for the KSP. The concentration is what's inside of the bracket, so that is I. Okay, thanks.